Hi, I'm Melanie Woke, Chair of Alberta Beef Producers. I ranch alongside my family in the Northeast Zone near Bevallon. I am also a large animal veterinarian with a cow-calf focus. If you haven't already done so, please take some time to have a look through the Alberta Beef Producers 2021 Annual Report. In it, you'll find updates from our organization, as well as our national industry partners and a detailed financial section. This year, we're trying something new by incorporating interactive features like this video to provide a variety of options to easily access the information provided in the annual report. Following our annual general meeting this past March, delegates reviewed ABP strategic objectives and feedback was sent to the Board of Directors to develop the 2021-2022 strategic plan. The new objectives are focused on our key priority areas and will go to the delegate body for approval at the semi-annual meeting. Significant discussion has taken place at the delegate and board level relating to ABP's direction and financial situation. With the high refund rate, we've had to make some tough decisions about the future of ABP. Because of the amount producers have requested in refunds, budget cuts were substantial. Funding cuts were made to some external industry organizations, including the Simpson Center, Cows and Fish, Alberta Farm Animal Care, and AgSafe Alberta. These were extremely difficult decisions to make as these groups are leaders in the improvement of our industry. As chair, my goal is for producers to recognize what ABP does on behalf of Alberta's beef industry and to see a direct connection from checkoff dollars to solutions that support Alberta's beef producers. Our work to support producers through this drought and secure financial aid is a fundamental example of what ABP does for you, the Alberta producer. We've had countless conversations with government officials, including hosting the Premier and other ministers to a ranch tour so they could see the devastation the drought had caused firsthand. We were able to make our needs clear and the response was immediate. ABP provided recommendations and negotiated financial support programs with AFSC and held a town hall to keep producers informed. The staff at ABP worked overtime to make sure that producers always had access to the most up-to-date information on abpdaily.com. This drought does not end with the summer coming to a close, and we will have our work cut out for us come spring as we begin to recover. Alberta producers are resilient, as we have proven many times in the past. We are hopeful that with the resources ABP helped to secure, we will make it through this drought with the least possible impact on mother cow numbers. This has been another tough year for producers, and I want to remind you that we are in this together as an industry to support one another. Remember to keep up to date on what ABP is doing for you through abpdaily.com and the ABP app.